Hi and welcome to Chasing Parts number three, my vloggity vlog from Vlogatown. Firstly, I want to apologise for the moustache. I forgot to shave this morning. <clears throat> okay, truth be told, I want to be the new milk tray man and this is part of my disguise, you know, facial hair, roll neck, backpack with all adventure gear and that fits true. Um, yeah, these probably, probably aren't. Anyway, why would I want to do this? Well, my friends mentioned that Cadbury's looking for the new milk tray man a few weeks ago and I thought, ah, oh, I'm going to enter my boyfriend. He's a, he's a right hottie. Then I went on the website and I saw that girls could enter as well. And I was thinking, ah, oh, this is very 2015, very forward, is it not? Or am I just an idiot and they want the girls to be the ones that, oh, he brought me milk tray. But I don't know his name, and the chocolate could have poison in. Soya. <laughs> Joke. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just thought, you know, I'm going to apply for it. It'd be funny. Um, and I want to give a shout out to um, Megan Clark Bagnall, because uh, Megan was originally in the morning to be the new Milky Bar Kid, and I'm inspired by Megan's act. So um, I'm hoping I'm going to add to the whole trajectory of we can do it too. Um, and I think that happened last week that's also sort of inspired some of the clips that you're going to see for my entry for the new Milk Tree Man is the fact that um, Caitlyn Jenner uh, has announced that she was could be in the running for Woman of the Year and Jermaine Greer announced on Twitter that she shouldn't be allowed to because she's not a woman and subsequently got a right kicking, you know, in, in, on social media. Which is, in some ways, um, is unfair because Jermaine Greer, in some ways, is actually right. And June Saw Pong actually, you know, um, sort of made a fair point last week on Loose Women. <clears throat> Not that I watch Loose Women. But the point is, she did say, you know, um, Bruce Jenner has had a 60-year 60 60 year career as a successful athlete and businessman and has now you know, transitioned and became a woman, now known as Caitlin. Um and has never had the struggles that other women have had to try and build themselves up in the entertainment and media industry or any industry for that matter. So it should be awarded to someone who actually has had those struggles. And and I totally, totally agree with that. Um, inspiration award for Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah, you know, fire away. Um, but if, if Woman of the Year award is going to go to a woman who is transgender, she'd be someone who's been trans, who's, you know, had transitioned a long time ago and somebody who's actually made you know massive inroads into um bringing transgender um communities and acceptance and all, all you know all stuff that's tied into that he's actually basically someone who's actually actually made a difference not somebody who's just famous and decided to then you know open up to the world so um basically my idea was well if caitlin if caitlin can't do you know become one with a year then Carly can be the new milk tree man or more importantly Caitlin can surpass us all and Carly will just fail <laughs> but have fun in the meantime and basically that's all I want to do so you can watch my entry so I'm gonna go I love you guys bye I should be the new milk tree man because I look really good in a roll neck I should be the new milk tree man after climbing mountains, my body odor smells of chocolate. I actually listen to what you've got to say. I don't make you repeat yourself five times before actually understanding what you're saying. I like to wipe my feet before coming in through your window to leave you the milk tray. I have vintage binos in which to see everything, even you, at night. Hmm. It must be really misty. You can't see a damn thing. Hmm. I'll wait till dawn. I'm cool. Because I can wear a moustache and lipstick simultaneously. I am a master of disguise. Because I know how to shoot guns.